No other state gets hit by hurricanes more than Florida. 22 million people call it home, and more than 120 million people visit the Sunshine State each year, often drawn to the crystal clear warm water. Yeah, it's that warm water that fuels hurricanes. That water is getting warmer. That helps to create more intense storms. Over the past several decades, the likelihood of a hurricane developing into a major Category 3 or stronger is increasing. And many of these intense hurricanes undergo what we call rapid intensification. When major hurricanes make landfall, their extreme winds can pick up in a hurry. Hurricane winds increase with height. So these high rises are experiencing the strongest winds. And Jim, as you know, these kinds of winds can be ferocious. Yeah, winds like this not only cause damage, look out, man. Jeez. But they also help to drive the water inland in the form of storm surge. This can be the deadliest part of a hurricane and is the reason for evacuations ahead of a storm. And as sea levels rise, storm surges will move further inland. Here in Miami, water has risen roughly six inches over the past 25 years, but the rise is accelerating, and there could be another foot of rise over the next 25 years. This is a problem that Florida will deal with even when there is no hurricane looming, flooding on sunny days. And hurricanes don't just do damage at the coast, their impacts can extend far inland. Central Florida can see a tremendous amount of rain, even if winds aren't that strong. So true, Manny. In fact, one of the key climate signals we see with the warmer atmosphere is heavier amounts of rain from slower moving storms. I mean, just look at all these states that have set record rainfalls for the wettest tropical cyclones. Last year, after devastating the southwest coast, Hurricane Ian dropped 20 inches of rain. That led to widespread flooding. As this hurricane season begins, we'll just have to wait and see what this year's real storms will bring. Well, we'll be tracking them all with CBS News and the Weather Channel.